Hey guys, in this video, we are going to learn how can we avoid the nested then blocks in Cypress using the Cypress alias command. And the use case is we have this grid in which the pagination is implemented and there are three pages which we have to navigate through. As you could see in here page one of three then you'll see page two of three and page three of three okay now you have to click on this button two times okay to reach to the last page now how can we figure out how many times we have to click on this button so for that we can make use of this okay this data so I'll say 12 okay and these are the uh, total number of users okay and on this page i am displaying four okay so it's like per page we are displaying four users so i'll say 12 divided by four okay minus one so that will be equal to two okay so i have to click on this button two times okay now guys let's look at the code so first we will do it using the nested then way and then we'll write the alias code okay so in the before page we are intercepting the request which is going to load the initial set of data okay so in the grid we are displaying you know one to four okay the first time we load the grid so we are then visiting the page and i'm waiting for that data to be rendered into that grid okay because if the data is not rendered right where will we get those numbers from the upper bound and the lower bound okay we'll not get that so another use case where it makes sense to use the intercept command rather than adding those hard-coded weights anyway so we move on so we find uh, the total number of users okay using this selector and then we use the then command okay that's my first then then inside this I'll then found the upper bound element okay using this selector and then I say then okay then this is my lower bound and I have one more then now so they are three thens already then guys what I'm doing so I am using this text method okay from jQuery so these are my jQuery elements now and I can execute this text method now this text method will give me the text okay so I have to convert that into number okay so I use this parse int method okay like so so I have now access to the total rows uh, the upper bound value and the lower bound so this is the formula that we apply so we say 12 divided by 4 okay which would be 3 then and then minus 1 okay so 2 okay then we run a loop and we say cy.contains and using this we are identifying the next button okay which one is this so this is my next button okay so I'm clicking on this two times so let me change it to only and we run this so you could see we are navigated to the last page in here okay so this works now the better way is to use aliases then has got a limitation which I've already talked about in my other series on Cypress so if you use the then right whatever subject that is being yielded by this command you have to work on that subject then and there itself okay you can't use it at later point of time so with alias you have the ability to use it at any point of time later on okay now let's see how are we going to write this code okay so guys we first invoke the text method okay so we just say I have to fetch the text of it okay and then you say I want to pass that into uh, an integer okay and then I save it as uh, total rows okay so I say total rows like this okay so I do the same for the others as well okay total rows upper bound and then total rows lower bound okay so I have got all these now once guys this is done okay and we write our 
call back inside then like so okay now i can access these aliases using the this keyword okay but to use this i have to change this fat arrow to a normal function like so okay now this will give us mocha and cypress context okay so after that i use the same formula like so but i just access these aliases using the this keyword okay so let me add this in front of all of these aliases so this is again going to give me uh, two back so i can use the same logic now okay like this okay uh, so we have to change this now to skip and we have to set the other one to only okay let us save this and run it so we are running the alias test case and okay in here also we are now on the third page so everything works okay so this is how you can avoid using nested then blocks in cypress okay and you also have the luxury of working with these alias at any point of time later on okay so if you like the video give this a thumbs up i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching